actually Tuesday the 28th and Buster and I just left the thrift store. I was not able to film in there because there were so many people. It was still like, there wasn't, they haven't like restocked. They were restocking, but it's still like the inventory was still kind of down. And then there was just so many people and then they had their kids because school's still out. So I was not able to film in there, but I did pick up a couple of items. They were in the bag. I, I, I bought like, you know, they'll bag stuff up. Well, I bought one of the bags and it had three things in it, but I really bought it just for the two things. So I'll show y'all that when I get home. But we are headed to have lunch with James, um, just to kind of get out of the house. Um, we had a wonderful Christmas. It was so good. Um, and the day after Christmas, I took my tree down and took all like the Christmassy stuff down with the exception of my mantle because I have got to buy a bin to put my big, huge nativity in and I haven't gotten it yet. So that's still like it is. And I'll probably do that this weekend. Um, gonna take the the nativity down and um, store that really well because I do not want it to get broken. But everything else I kind of took down. I know I could have probably left my tree up, but y'all, can I just tell y'all how much I hate that tree? That tree gave me fits this year. Um, and I, I hate that I don't still have my receipt from Hobby Lobby. I wonder if I could use my credit card receipt because I did put it on my card. Um, that tree leans so bad. It is not straight. It is crooked. And I put it up and I tried to twist it and turn it to where it would look straight and it just is crooked. It's just crooked. It's not the flooring. Honestly, I think it's the stand. Um, but it was just crooked and um, so I took it down because I was just so over it, so over it. Um, and I seriously may go talk to Hobby Lobby about the tree and you know, produce my receipt with my credit card and see if they will refund me for it. I don't know, but it was a pain the whole entire time. I'm glad that I didn't put it up any earlier and I took it, I would have took it down Christmas night if, you know, the kids hadn't stayed as late as they did, but I was like, no. So first thing the next day, I got up and took that sucker down because I was just so aggravated with it, but that's okay. There are greater tragedies, I do know. But I did take down all the Christmas stuff and I've left like the winter stuff and I love it. I, you know, I just love the glow of the lights. Um, so I was busy doing that the day after Christmas and I did not realize how exhausted I was <laughs> until like I got through taking everything down and kind of like, you know, cleaning, not deep cleaning, but cleaning. And then I told James, I was like, I'm going to get a bath and I'm going to just lay down. And I ended up taking like a three hour nap. I was just exhausted and um, got up for a couple hours and then ended up going back to bed and slept all night. So I obviously was t more tired than what I thought. And then the next day I got up and which was yesterday and I started like, like cleaning the house. I still, I'm, I'm not into the organization part of it yet, but I was cleaning and mopping and, you know, dusting and all that kind of stuff and tweaked my back, <laughs> my lower back. So after I got everything done, I then went and soaked in a hot bath and then just kind of like took it easy the rest of the day. Um, and just kind of like laid around with my back and just, Take it easy. And then today I got up and I was like, well, we're getting out of the house because I have to. I have to. Um, because I will find myself like getting into a funk and like, um, I don't want to call it a depression, but I guess it would be like a mild, very, very mild, like depressive state. So. 
that was a good thing about Vlogmas is it held me accountable and like it made me get up and made me like get dressed it made me um, do stuff it like held me accountable and I was finding myself just in those few days like just not getting dressed not fixing my hair not putting on makeup you know and I know my hair's not fixed today but our weather is just total blah so but um so I was like I've got to get up I've got to get dressed so we can go meet James for lunch and I said you know I got dressed early enough we went by the thrift store and um Oh, y'all gotta tell y'all. So Sunday when I was cleaning and putting up my Christmas decor, I got out my beautiful platter that I had hauled like a week or so ago that I bought at the thrift store that had the pretty gold on it and everything. And I put it on the shelf where it was gonna be, you know, my everyday decor. And it was so pretty. And then yesterday it fell and broke. And I don't, I still don't know how it fell because I had it on a really nice heavy duty plate stand. But whatever reason, it fell, it busted, shattered into pieces, and yeah, that was horrible. But you know, things happen, I suppose. No use in crying over shattered glass. But um, I did really hate that it happened because it was a beautiful piece, and I really loved it, you know. But um, got all that cleaned up. Um, y'all, Buster was so cute Christmas morning. We did end up giving him a gift on Christmas Eve. And he was so cute. And so, I knew that Christmas morning he was going to be so cute. And, um, he was. I did film it. I will insert those that footage at the end of this video for y'all, for the ones of you that wanted me to film him. I hope all of y'all had a wonderful Christmas. I know from chatting with some of y'all that y'all have yet to celebrate Christmas for whatever reason so I hope when you do get to celebrate that it's wonderful um but the ones of you that did I hope it was everything you wanted it to be and then some ours turned out really good and we had the best time anyway I'm gonna get in touch with James and figure out what he wants for lunch so I'll touch base with y'all just a little bit Okay, y'all ready for this massive thrift haul? Let me show y'all. This is what I got. It was $3.99. So let me show you why I wanted this. Okay. Well, this is cute, but this is not what why I bought it. It's really pretty though, so I'll probably keep it and put it up for like for like winter decor. I don't know if y'all can see the little scenery on it. Christmas decor. But I initially bought it for these. These brass bells. Love them. Been looking for bells. Now this one, I'm gonna take the Christmas stuff off. And this one is kinda like, yay. I was worried that it was glued, but it was just tied on. So let me take this off. And out of the two bells, this one's, out of the two brass bells, this one's not the better one because it's little, I don't know what's happened there. There's really not a way to, oh yes there is. I just fixed it, yay! So I have these two cute little brass bells and they work and everything. And then this one's a pretty little glass bell, and it works too. So, this is my thrift haul. So, I'm really excited about them. I'm going to put them on the shelves. I'm not going to, like, I'm going to wipe them off, of course, but, like, as far as, like, shining them up, I'm not going to do that because I love the look. But this one, let me show you the detail on this one. Y'all see the detail? 
it's so pretty. I love it. So I'm gonna get them cleaned up and put them on the shelf. So that's my little thrift haul. Not at all a bad day. So, yeah. So we had to do a quick little tiny itty bitty grocery pickup and it's ready. So Buster and I are going to pick that up. Buster, get up here. Get up here. Get up here. Can you come, come on, get up here. Jump, fat boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Um, I just got off the phone with my mom. Try not to hit the garbage cans. And I've got to have her down Thursday morning, which also happens to be her birthday, to uh, the hospital. She's having sinus surgery. She's got part of her sinus is clogged. She's been sick for a while. And with all of this mess, and she just can't get a break from it. And so they did a CAT scan on her today and found out that part of her sinuses is clogged. She had sinus surgery several years ago and I guess scar tissue and stuff, I don't know. All I know is she's coming to spend the night with us tomorrow night because we have to be at the location at 5.30 and a.m. and that would have put me leaving the house at like 2.30. No, I would have to leave probably about three o'clock in the morning to go get her to take her and so she's just gonna come spend the night tomorrow night and that way we can leave at a semi-decent time and get down to the hospital. So, that's Thursday and I'm trying, I'm gonna go pick her up tomorrow and I'm trying to get my hair cut tomorrow. So I can kind of like, you know, get my hair cut, pick her up and bring her home. That way when after she has her surgery, I can just drop her off at her house. And yeah, Whew, Lord, these old folks, I swear. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Anyway, that's what's going on. And I do not know what's going on with me because I am like, y'all, I feel like, I feel like every bit of the energy that I've had has just been completely zapped out of me. James even said that he's noticed that like, I'm just run down and I don't know why. Well, I think I do know why. I'm out of my vitamins. I've been out of them for probably, oh, I should have got them today. I've been out of them, I know. I know I've been out of them a week. That's exactly what's wrong with me. I need my vitamins. Yep, that's what it is. So I'll be getting my vitamins tomorrow and getting them back in my system because telling you this is exactly how I felt before I started them so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they work they definitely work so because um, I'm just like so drained like I went back to bed this morning when he left I never do that unless I'm sick or you know feel like I feel now and that is just not me because usually I'm up before him and I'm, you know, I'm up because I feel bad if I go back to bed. I feel bad if I go back to sleep. I don't do well with naps because they just make me feel worse. So the fact that I've napped and went back to bed. Nope, Donna, get your vitamins. So I'll be doing that. But we're going to pick up our groceries and yeah. I'm gonna get back home. He told me I have to worry about dinner tonight. He's got stuff that he can eat up. <sighs> Thank God, because I'm obviously yawning like a crazy person. But um, I'm gonna get this video edited and uploaded. So um, hopefully if you've been missing me, you'll enjoy it. And uh, let me hit my foot. <laughs> my shoe was coming off. Um, so I will touch base with y'all in just a little bit. Hi, 
Buster, you want a present? You want a present? All right, bub, come here. Oh, 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 Mama? Come here. Come here. You want it? Here. What's she got, Buster? Yeah. Look. What's she got, Buster? What do you think, you like? That was good. Can I have the whole bag? Huh? 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 Can I have the whole bag? Look, I know there's more in there. Can I have that? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Well, I would say this is a hit. <laughs> Mama, I'm not as wide as I am long. We need to work on that.
Look. It should fit your big old head. Do you like it? I did up until that time. <laughs> See if you like it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know if he likes it bed or not. Come here. Come here. 